morning lovely peeps happy monday welcome back to the sewing room i am going to be getting on with making up the first of what will probably be two for me um retreat handbags we are going to be doing the annette handbag i've announced it to the retreat peeps very excited i'm going to be making the first one in the all over tan mora leather from emmeline bags mora faux leather then the second one i'm hoping to recreate this image i pinned this or somebody put up a uh, in this this in the swoon patterns page on facebook and i was just like oh my gosh that is amazing mum is making something very similar we are trying to decide I want to recreate this one exactly which has got the rose gold hardware and mum has a rose gold hardware kit and also a gold hardware kit and we're trying to decide which one that she's going to go for but I'm definitely going to have the rose gold one it's absolutely beautiful it's such a stunning bag mum is very very kindly quilting the back and front panels for herself and for me as well I had the faux leather in my stash which was awesome yes that's what I'm going to get done today and I'm just going to power through I've already done a sew along for the Annette but it's for the commuter tote size so I'm going to power through and get this one done just to refresh because I haven't made a bag for about a year and a half which is a kind of amazing to me because I love bag making and I have so many beautiful patterns but I just haven't had the inclination to make a bag for a while so I'm really excited about getting a couple done and then I'm probably going to get the bag making fever back and make all of the patterns there's some lavender and twine patterns that I am absolutely in love with the moon wake Laula, the Hrath, oh, so many so so many Salasta yeah so many of those ones as well I'm probably thoroughly going to fall down the bag making hole again but pretty typical for me we all know that so I have before I start on sewing the bag because I'm all set up for that I started yesterday got a few pieces done no started on Saturday got got it all cut out got a few pieces sewn and then just massive flare up so yeah ended up kind of just going and watching re-watching the first season of Westworld actually because I love that show I haven't seen season two or three but I couldn't quite remember what was happening in season one so I'm really glad that I refreshed myself it all came kind of came back there were a few bits that was like oh I forgot about that so yeah I'm glad that I refreshed myself but yes that's what I did over the weekend as well as the hangout with the peeps now I have some lovely peeps to say thank you for some coffees and also a new patreon peep to say hi to two sex I am prepared laptop is open the very lovely Brie Heidenreich I think I have that correct probably don't I'm very sorry but Brie bought me a coffee after last Sunday's hangout and after yesterday's hangout as well so thank you Brie that's very much appreciated Janice Spurlock also bought me some coffees thank you very much Janice very much appreciated and the very lovely Abby Lockhart has joined the Patreon peep so welcome Abby and thank you for joining right now that I have done all that I still have some admin to do as I say I have announced the Annette handbag in the retreat Facebook group but I need to put together the hardware list and send out the gift vouchers for the patterns as well so I'm going to get all that done then I'm going to get to some sewing oh uh, book wise I am currently listening to the Bridgerton series because I love the tv show and whilst the reviews on audible were kind of mixed they are they're kind, my kind they're light and fluffy regency romances they're kind of Georgette Heyer with raunch <laughs> they are definitely Georgette Heyer with some raunch thrown in there there is quite a lot of bodice ripping going on but I'm really really enjoying it I'm listening to the Viscount Who Loved Me at the moment I have bought the next two books in the series as well and I will continue to do that because as much as I love the tv show and I really really do it's amazing I want to know what happens in the story and I realize that the kind of it does the tv show doesn't exactly stick to the storyline in the books but it's close enough that I am enjoying it so I'm halfway through the Viscount Who Loved Me at the moment which is awesome let's get some admin done some sewing done and hopefully Hopefully I will have a bag to show you later. We shall see. Okay, things are progressing nicely. I have a lining. So very leafy in there. I am doing the trick that I learned from Erica Lee, which is you kind of, you do birth your bag through an opening on the inside. But rather than try and do it through this one here, Erica suggests that you do it through one of the side panels so I've sewn it and pressed it but I've sewn with regular stitch length to here and here and back stitched 
and then this is with a really long stitch length so I'm going to open that up and then when you're done you reach through this pocket so that you can close up that side seam and then you close the side seam once your bag is birthed which I think is a very sensible idea so now that I have my straps and my lining done I'm going to move to the exterior and the first thing that I need to do is prep my foam pieces so I'm going to get that done and as I say I have done a sew along for the Annette bag which I will link up here and in the description down below a few moments later and now I have a bag outer I'm really liking how this is turning out I only had four feet I probably would have added another two if I'd had, I had six of them but I didn't really liking this I think it's going to be a very nice handbag and very versatile it's going to go with so many things in my wardrobe my only plain handbag is my blue one and whilst that goes with so many things in my wardrobe this is definitely going to go with the savannah and the cobra corsage etc etc now I have to attach the zip and then I can put the lining in and then attach the handles and then we're done. So I should get this finished today, which is awesome. This faux leather from Emmeline Bags, it's the Mora faux leather, is really, really nice to work with. So that's good as well, because I have enough to make another handbag. So yes, let's get the zip in. Hmm, fun times. A few inches later. Time to pull an elephant through a cat flap. Um, let's see how this goes. actually not too painful right so now I need to do all the top stitching around this top edge to make sure everything lies nice and flatly I need to close up the interior pocket and side seam that I've just pulled it through and then I need to put on my zipper pull because I'm using a continuous zipper tape here and put on the finishing tab to the end of the zipper so that it, the zipper pull doesn't just fly off the end. Uh, first, I think I shall do the top stitching. This is my least favourite part because I always worry that it's going to look awful. Wish me luck. I do always practice the types of top stitching that I want to use for my bag on scrap pieces, the same thickness, before I do the final things on the bag itself. It's just difficult to get the bag to cooperate and just make sure that everything looks flawless and this is one of the areas that everything needs to look flawless because you can't hide this with kind of you know it's 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 right at the top of the bag i've got my machine further up on the hydraulic lift in my table so that i can use the free arm so that i can get the bag kind of like in and around the machine if i had the space and the money i would totally totally love one of those cylindrical arm sewing machines designed for bag making that would be amazing but this does work really well and i'm really pleased with how it's come out it's just one of those nerve-wracking things of doing it at the time. Once I've got the top stitching done, I fed through the tails of the thread to the inside of the bag so that there was no visible back stitching at any point and tied those off on the inside. Then I added the zipper pull to the zipper tape and finished off the zipper end with the method that Erica Lee has done in her latest bag pattern, which will be available to you guys in June. And it's done. And I love it. I really love it. I, it definitely fits in with the leafy brief. I did fluff up a little bit with that end of the zip, but not so that it doesn't work, just so that it's not sitting quite where it should. But you know what? It still looks good. So uh, yeah, really happy with this. So you can either carry it by the handles or you can wear it on your shoulder. Or if you lengthen the strap, you can wear it cross body as well. So it's a nice versatile bag. And it is just such a lovely colour. I really do really, really like this colour. Very much like the Givenchy Antigona bag. Antigon? Antigona? <laughs> really, really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Very happy. The only thing I think I would do different is add two more um, feet to the bottom. That would be the only thing that I think I would change. Really pleased. I haven't made a bag in ages. Yay. So happy. Now I need to make a matching purse. I'm thinking the Roxy or Rosie wallet. The one that's got the accordion bits in it so that it doesn't just splay open. But I need to buy 
a bar clasp that will match the hardware for this one to do that so that is something that I would like to make but will not get to for a little while yet. So as I mentioned I have got another one of these bags that I want to make the cream quilted version. Now that I've just powered through and got this one done I'm going to talk mum through making hers so that we can both be because mum helps out at the retreats and so she wants to make a bag she wants a handbag for herself but she also wants to make one so that if anyone has any questions she's at least got some sort of an idea of what we're doing. I'm going to get on with some more admin because I've got lots of that to do for the retreat so I'm going to get that done I will see you a little bit later I'm really really pleased with that very very happy I now have a new bag it's a little bit later in the day and I have just finished all of the retreat admin that I need to get done at the moment so that's good I was thinking about starting sewing something else but realized that I'm actually starving and probably ought to go and eat some food because food so I am coming on here to say goodnight to you guys uh, it's probably been quite a quick one today but I'm really pleased with how the bag has turned out it is a it's a surprisingly quick make I showed mum and dad dad loves it mum wants more inter internal pockets usually I add the Chris W designs internal pocket on everything but I did it on my previous Annette handbag size one and it's actually too small the bag is too small for the pocket so I'm thinking I might make some quick changes for the next one because I am going to be making another one as you guys know and just add a few more internal pockets if to please mum if nothing else. <laughs> I'm very pleased with what I've got done today love that handbag I'm going to move everything over into it this evening and I have ordered the hardware for the rose gold white quilted one and I've also ordered the bar clasp for the Rosy wallet or the Roxy wallet I can't remember I have both but I want the one with the accordion bits on it so that I can make that to go in there as well so I hope you've enjoyed the little bit that I have been up to today and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!